sending you a message that I had gotten your voicemail. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just uh yeah, I just got the uh I just got the ring. Didn't stay on long enough. All right. Uh How weird. <laughs> um all right. Uh what's the name of the company? Metal Lark or Metal Metal Lark. Met Metal Lark. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, like the bird. Yeah. And you guys look you guys located where? Our corporate headquarters is in Billings, Montana, but we have 29 agent terminals, and the closest one to you is Roanoke, Virginia. Okay, so you guys got. 20. Well, there's one in Barberton. There's one in Barberton, Ohio, as well. You guys got. You're in Ohio. Yeah, I've seen a few of your trucks out of uh, out of Ohio. But yeah. You guys got 29 terminals. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yep. What would be the what? Well, let me ask you this: uh, What divisions do you guys have? It, it, what is it? Reefer, flatbed, dry van. What is it? Yep, reefer, flatbed, dry van, uh, step decks, and uh, we do some oversize as well. Oh, mm -hmm. so you so you guys got a vast uh, divisions yeah. over there. So, being with twenty nine, what would be the what would be the dropping hook percentage? It depends. Um, so we have Meadowlark company trucks, which are run out of our Billings office. So there is a Meadowlark company fleet. And then we all, each one of the agent terminals also has some of their own freight. They have some of their own trucks. They have leased trucks, like our full service lease. So you can do a variety of things. You can be a company, and some of the Agent terminals also have their own company trucks, so you can. There's a variety. Okay. You can drive a metal art company truck. You can drive an agent company truck. You can drive. You can do a full service lease. Once you've done a full service lease for six months, you can transition to a lease purchase if you choose. There's just there's so many different options. Oh, uh, so let me <laughs> ask you this: being that you mentioned about the lease, so we we have to do a six month. Uh, at least before we we transition into a into a uh, lease purchase, or can we just get that right off the rip? No, you have to do it for six months. The reason being, it's it's a huge commitment, right? Where the full service lease is a walk away lease. It's a full service lease with a complete maintenance package. We want to know that you can make money doing the full service lease and hence the lease the lease purchase. So the full service lease doesn't off doesn't have any down payment, nothing out of your pocket. The lease purchase does. That has thirty five hundred dollars. Mm. So it's just kind of, you know, it, it's a huge step for us to to do a lease purchase with someone versus a walk away lease. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So the lease purchase yeah. is much more of a commitment based type deal. But what Correct. if so if if I decide to, you know, you know, transition over to the lease purchase uh option, yep. uh would and let's just say I decide to leave or anything or anything for that matter pushes me out of the company, would I be able to take the truck with me or do I have to leave it? And I'm talking about not the walk away side of it. I'm talking about the one where I actually right. put down thirty five, forty five, or whatever the amount that you guys want me to put down for it. Thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. Yeah. So would that truck comes with right. me? Yeah, depending on where you are on the lease purchase, right? Mm -hmm. If you're just started it and you're only, you know what I mean. We would give you back your your down payment. Oh, okay. But. If you're, if you're halfway or better through the lease purchase, then yes, you would be able to um, take the truck with you. You just have to would have to continue to make the payments, right? Because there's a contract that goes with the lease purchase. Okay, okay. Now, now that's yeah. a beautiful answer because some of the answers I got out of that part right there, where you know we will put some money down and so forth and so on we're we're not able to take the truck with us and we lose out on everything that we put into it 
<laughs> you know. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, right. that's that's a that's a good answer. All right, so let's uh rewind to the front <clears> end. I I appreciate it. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what you guys have to offer? So it depends on what you're looking for. Again, mm -hmm. are you are you looking at a full service lease or are you looking at a company driver? I'm I'm just op I'm I'm just open for information on both. Okay, okay. So company driver, they we run anywhere from fifty two to sixty two cents a mile to start based on experience. Mm -hmm. um, lease purchase or full service lease. We have agents that run dry vans that they their minimum achievable is seventy five hundred dollars a week. We have agents that run reefers that that are at ten thousand dollars a week. And that's that's ten um, that's ten thousand dollars going to the truck and to the truck. Yeah, and that's right. that's on the gross side, right? That's that's not a that's net. on the gross side. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and at, in the full service lease, you get if you run a dry van, you get seventy two percent of what the load pays. Mm -hmm. Well, it's seventy two percent of ninety eight percent because the top two percent or the first two percent go to your occupational accident uh, insurance. Okay. So you get seventy two percent of ninety eight percent. You get one hundred percent of the fuel surcharge. Like for example, this week our fuel surcharge is at forty five cents a mile. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, you get uh, if you run a reefer, you get seventy five percent of ninety eight percent. Still, also getting the one hundred percent fuel surcharge. Okay. So, and we, it, you know, it just they we have pretty much anything that somebody is looking for, right? I mean, our company drivers, we have lanes all over you know what i mean all over the 48 states we run all four and some uh some regionals also do you guys run yeah regional yep, that's lanes? what i was just gonna say we also run some regionals um and our different agent terminals have regionals in the areas where they are too you right so and we have different pods like we have a lane that runs out of uh bethlehem pennsylvania and it goes to ohio right and they run back and forth in that lane um, so there's just, there's so much for me to, <laughs> to try to lay it all out. It's huge. Oh, no, it's, it, no, what, what you laying out, uh, what you laying out for what you laying out is good for me. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that type of. And, and you, you have an option of looking at different things, right? You can, I can put you in touch with the agent terminal in Barberton, Ohio. You can talk to them, see what they have. They have some company trucks. I don't know if they have anything empty, but they also run the lease, the full service lease trucks. Um, they can tell you, for example, what you what they have in the regional freight or what they have in the you know home every seven to ten days or two weeks or whatever. I could also put you in touch with our our fleet who run full service lease drivers, they also run metal art company drivers. They could tell you the same thing. In the area you are, this is what we're looking at, this is how many miles, right? I can't speak specifically to either one of those things, right? Yeah. And I can't tell you I can't tell you what an agent terminal pays a company driver cuz I can tell you what a metal art fleet company driver makes per mile, but I don't but the the agent terminals do their own payroll on the drivers that they have that drive their company truck. That's right? understandable. The full service lease is the same across the board. That's whether you drive for an agent, whether you drive for a metal or fleet, you, you the full service lease, the percentages and stuff, that's across the board. All right. Cool. Awesome. How much yep. how much experience uh, do you guys require the uh, drivers to have? We require, we well, we used to require two years. We are now looking at people that have one year. We can take a certain number of one-year drivers. It has to be a, within a certain percentage of our entire fleet for our insurance. So if somebody has one year, we'll look at them. If, they are, if their record is good, if they don't have seven jobs in one year, if their PSP is good, their MVR is good, you know what I mean, then we'll take a chance on them. You, you right? Otherwise, it works. You, two years you know i'm 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 hearing 
more and more companies uh, going to their insurance now to bring in drivers, considering considering there's that there's a quote unquote driver shortage. <laughs> you know, oh, it's not something new. It's always been any company for the most part has rules that they have to abide by for their insurance whether they'll cover someone like some like our insurance doesn't cover a driver that's been in the SAT program it will not cover them right Mm -hmm. um our insurance will not cover somebody that has a felony newer than seven years old Mm -hmm. there's just there's and i've worked at multiple companies right this is not my the only company i've worked for and i've been in this industry since 1996 Mm -hmm. so Almost every single company, some of them just are more their Street. insurance or they're self-insured. Mm-hmm. So if they're self-insured, then they themselves, the company, is takes takes a bigger risk at hiring someone outside of the parameters they normally would stick to, right? Right. But you have that a lot of times with the smaller companies. Like, um, they'll take they may only have 50 trucks, right? They may have other sources of revenue and they, they will pay their drivers higher. They don't, they'll pay them on a 1099. So they are more lenient in the things that they, because they're covered on their, they're not covered on medical insurance and that kind of stuff, but they're covered. You know what I mean? So there's, there's so many different things out there that, you know, that you can do. Yeah, it's 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 crazy that you know that I that I talked to uh, a few a few companies that uh, that relies more on their you know on what their insurance adjuster tells them versus you know going with you know going with the gut feeling or something like that. Um, all right, so right because if somebody has a dry, bad driving record, say mm-hmm. they have. Like ours, you know, say they have four accidents in the last five years' time. Mm -hmm. So if the insurance says no, but you hire them anyways, if they have another accident with you, it's out of your pocket because Mm -hmm. the insurance company has already told you we won't take them. Mm -hmm. But if you choose to take them, then you take on the response, you as the company take on the responsibility out of your own pocket if something happens. Okay. Right? That's, that's why they that's why they and that's understandable yep. all right i have a three-part question uh for orientation um mm-hmm. where would the or well where you say it's 29 so i i'm going to assume the orientation would be close to where you're out of and the uh drug screen is it urine mm-hmm. or um uh, or hair mm-hmm. follicles, or both, and the hotel stay solo. Is it solo? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, orientation. So, Meadowlark works different than any company I've ever worked for. So, how Meadowlark works is, so let's say I have your application. I have you approved. I sent you on to what's called our onboarding group. These ladies are going to reach out to you. They're going to send you most of your employment paperwork mm-hmm. online okay. you're going to do most of it online before you even come aboard they're going to send you for a drug screen close to where you are mm-hmm. wherever that is in the 48 states mm-hmm. uh it's a urine test not a hair follicle they're going to send you for that be- before you come aboard with us and hotel is yes you're the only person in the room but so how anyways how metal arc works is you do most of your pre-employment paperwork ahead of time online. They get you, they'll say, okay, the truck for you is in Atlanta, Georgia. They're going to stick you on a plane. They're going to fly you to Atlanta, Georgia. They're going to have somebody pick you up at the airport, take you to the truck. Mm-hmm. Once you're physically in the truck, they have two weeks then to get you to an orientation location. And it's a one day orientation, like eight to three that day. Okay. And there's an uh, orientation facility in Atlanta, one in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and then Billings, Montana. So it's very different how it, you know, most companies, you come to orientation, you're a couple of days in orientation before right. you get into a truck. This right. company doesn't work that way. Oh, they okay. do all the paperwork with you electronically, which actually is easier than sitting there for an entire day filling out paperwork. Right. 
Man, that's understandable. Like I, that. I kind of, I kind of like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. You did mention about uh, pay. Uh, and you say that you can't, you can't touch on the pay variance at at uh, different locations. But, at the agent terminal, right? Yeah. But as a whole, uh, a driver as will a- will sit was six years of experience like i have where would i come Mm -hmm. in where would i come in at if i decide to go with the you know the fleet company driving w2 position so the fleet at six years you would start at 54 cents a mile okay okay Uh, so now i i i can tell you that i have agent terminals that are up to 65 cents a mile again those typically are driving one of their trucks, mm. right? Not mm. as a lease, but as a company driver. Okay. Now, a lot of them are also a 1099. So, you know, you take the, you you play the game of, you know, do I want my taxes taken out by the company? Do I want a 1099 and have to send it quarterly? Do I, you know what I mean? Right. Now, it, as far so as 10... Ten- as far as 1099 goes, they we also are responsible for our own benefits as well. The health benefits, dental and all like that if we decide to take 1099. Now some some of our company drivers, some well, wait, some of our agent company drivers are have m- medical insurance and we right. do offer you an insurance you can purchase, a medical insurance you can purchase. Because of the full, because our so we have a lot of drivers that are on our full service lease, and so we do have a uh, insurance package that we can that we offer as well to you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I was about I say, to... there's so many variables. It's crazy. Right, right. I I was about to ask you uh, <laughs> about the benefit package, but but on the W two side, I can send it to your email. What the benefit package looks like for like a full service lease driver that you can purchase oh, okay. i can send that to you but on the w yep. on the w2 side we <laughs> we we get the we we get the you get the medical benefit. dental mm-hmm. yep medical dental vision after 60 days of employment life insurance uh disability yep okay on the lease side what would can can you at least give me a ballpark of of uh, what a driver would start off on the lease side? Well, the lowest I've ever heard is six thousand dollars a week, and I've heard as high as ten. Okay, okay, that's cool. So, that's awesome. Yep. All right, so if I decide now, one of the lanes you say you do have a, a regional lane. So if I decide to come on and say, hey, I, I want to you know do the regional, and I want to be home every week. Uh, is that every week during the day or every week during the weekend? And is that a full usually two days? it's on the weekend? All right. Is, yeah, usually it's on the weekend. Yeah. And is it a full two days? Like come yeah, home usually, Friday, yeah. leave back out Monday. Come home Friday at some point. Yep. Go out Monday. Okay, mm-hmm. that's what's up. Uh, yep. What What the equipment you guys uh, have to offer? And what are they governing? We run. At? 70 mm-hmm. we, they're governed at 70 we run um uh freightliner cascadias we run some max we run some Pete's, and we run some kws not awesome. as many kws as the other things and as if you are a full service lease they'll say to you um this i have this truck here i have this truck here you know you don't have to pick the first truck that they give you you're given some options to and as a full service lease, you have a pick on your on your freight too. You don't have to pick something that they say, "Hey, I want you to do this lane." You can say to them, "It doesn't pay enough," or you know what I mean. You have more options, obviously, as a full service lease because you're a, your own company per se, right? Mm-hmm. You're the owner mm-hmm. um, versus a company driver. But our company drivers are fleet drivers for sure, and our agent terminals are great about communication and hey i want to go here this time you know i mean we have like i we have one driver who she drives the company truck for an agent terminal and she has family in washington so they're great about getting her to washington once a month they're great about getting her to kansas city right but she's an over the road driver too a little different situation but but they are great about working with you for whatever it is you need 
Okay. What about <laughs> now as far as the lease and, and you did mention that we can't pick, but is it possible that we could pick from a load board for the lease or do we or do what the dispatchers do that they, they'll give us like maybe three and then we could pick out we could pay one out of the three. So we also we have a we have a humongous brokerage side at Meadowlark and they have just thousands of loads too. So so you have a variety. Like I said, you can you can run get some loads from some of the like the platinum team and different ones. We also have a our our brokered side has a power only department too. You know what I mean? So there's literally it's um it's ridiculous. There's gotcha. so many options for you. Gotcha. What about a uh, what about driver facing cameras? No, only forward facing. One forward facing camera. That's it. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Um, now doing, being that you guys do the, you know, the different lanes and different regions and stuff like that, do you guys pay extra for running the Northeast? New York, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Meadowlark, is, is there... And typically any, typically you're going to find too that if it's a lane that goes to the Northeast, the rate is higher anyways if you are a full service lease. Right. Mm -hmm. People pay more money because they know people don't want to go to the Northeast per se. So those exactly. are typically higher paying lanes anyways. OK, that's what's up. Yep. Um, is there a sign on bonus? There is. It's a very slow payout, though. I'm not I'm going to I mean, I'm, I don't even believe in telling untruths. So it's five hundred dollars. It. It's five hundred dollars at six months, one thousand dollars at one year, fifteen hundred at two years, fifteen hundred at three years. So it's a five thousand dollar, but it pays out over three years. And they do that because they really want long term drivers, right? They really want drivers that are gonna come and stay. And there are a lot of drivers, I'm sure you know that there's a lot of drivers that will job hop for the sign on bonuses. That's true. That that's true, but mm -hmm. and we want family. We want long term that are going to stay with us, right? Man, three years, though. So, wow. I know it is a long term. I, it's kind of ridiculous. I've not seen one like that, and and I've been pitching too that they shorten that down some, but you know. Wow. Okay. Okay. And, and we have a we have a twenty five hundred dollar referral bonus. So if you come aboard and you know somebody and you bring somebody aboard there is that as well okay that's what's up um yep. so if if everything goes good i fill out the application i come on and uh, you know i i get on with the company and all like that uh of course i talk to you know drivers that drove for metal arc in the you know in the yep. facebook groups yep. uh that i'm in one <clears throat> uh one in particular i'm in cdl truck uh truck careers on facebook um and i talk to drivers and stuff like that uh, mm -hmm. you know they they have they vary opinions of course you know oh, what, absolutely. They, what they like and what they don't like but for the drivers that's already there and and let's say if i decide to come on or something like that how would you retain the drivers We try to do whatever we can to retain them. So, I mean, we have a couple different things that go on. We have a, we have a happiness committee, literally, that's what it's called, a happiness that call committee. the drivers on a monthly basis. They go over um, they go over their KPIs. They go over their miles they ran. They go over anything that's going on. Are you happy? What what if you're not happy? What you know what I mean? And that these are these. Things that they talk about on a monthly basis with every driver goes as far up as it goes to our president and owner, right? I mean, mm -hmm. so it's not something. So you have sources, and you're you're given those sources right away to to say if you're unhappy with something here. And and it, again, it, it also depends if you're on an agent level, then you you see the owner of that agent terminal every time you're there. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have an avenue to him and you have an avenue to us. If something's going on in the agent terminal that you're unhappy with, you have you can reach out to us because they answer to us ultimately to Meadowlark. So there's that. And they 
they really try hard to do everything they can to retain the drivers, right? It's way less expensive to retain drivers than it is to hire new ones. Okay. All right. That's what's up. Do you guys, uh, well, first thing first, thank you very much. I, I, I really do appreciate the, the information uh, that you provided for me today. Uh, do you guys do you guys help drivers get their CDLs if they don't have no, their CDLs? No, we're not a training company. Nope. There are a lot of training companies out there. Um, we just are not one of them. All right. That's what's up. Well, thank you very much again. Uh, thank you for reaching out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, like Absolutely. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in a, you know, I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in that said Facebook group and I'll take this information, mm-hmm. uh, that you guys given me and I'll take it over and share it with them as well as well as sharing it with my network of, uh, of drivers that I network with and see if, you know, if Melalark is, is good for them as well. Absolutely. All right. I appreciate the call. Thank you, ma'am. Sure thing. Thank you. Have a great day. You too now. Bye-bye.